I think one of the reasons that I was drawn to Andela is I lived the problem that Andela is trying to solve every day. I worked leading engineering teams, product development teams at various software companies, and it's very challenging to find talented engineering staff to come in and really help grow your teams. I was also very much drawn to the idea that we are also providing opportunity to people in places where they are smart but just don't have access to those opportunities. We provide developers that help partners become successful by providing the technology behind what they want to do. We will find people who are as committed as your own employees, as dedicated to your success, as passionate about what you do, but who you'll find working out of uh, Africa instead. Prudence is all over the world, and in Africa, there's so much of a lack of opportunity that we could go in there, we could provide this opportunity by access to our curriculum, access to our training methodologies, and help people learn what they need to learn we accept 0.7% of the applicants. And then of those accepted, they have to go through basically six to seven months of training with Andela before they're considered partner ready. Now to help them learn the skills, we have a variety of sources, Pluralsight being one of them. And so as soon as a Andela joins Andela, uh, the very first thing they get is a welcome email and a introduction to Pluralsight, and they love that. It helps them level up, not only on the technical skills, but on a variety of other skills. So we really are asking more of our workforce to self-learn, to get training online, and then they can come in and apply it in, in the workplace. Pluralsight really partners with us. They'll tell us what the roadmap is, and so it feels like they're committed to our success and committed to solving the problems as they come up. They also give you the tools to sort of monitor feedback, look at analytics around how you're progressing. So very helpful tools to help sort of execute on that learning plan that you have. We will start using skill IQ assessments as a data point in determining whether someone knows a skill enough that we can actually use that as part of the placement guidelines for matching them with partners. So I tell any CIO that, you know, just giving this as a resource to your employees tells them that you value it and for the cost of it, it's really a minimal investment to telling your employees how important they are and how much their advancement and growth is important to you.